I am attempting to knit a full adult pair of socks within one week. So casting on starting today and let's see how fast I can knit a full adult pair of socks. This morning we brought the girls to an indoor amusement park and I'll put some fun little video here where I actually cast on the pair of socks and I am somewhat further than I thought I would be. I am doing the Candy Mountain socks. Um, I'm re-knitting one of my old samples, which I'm using Lorian of Tous les Matins Yarns in a beautiful sock set. So I'm using this and I already have the cuff done and I'm on to the second color on my sock. Let me show you. I am knitting up on the second color and loving how it's doing so far. I am using, it's, what is it called? Easy Knit Rocket. So it's a really, really nice, it's 10 inches. So I find that this is a lot easier for me to knit rather than the nine inch. I cannot knit with a nine inch, it hurts my shoulders. But this one, uh, I can really knit. And these are fun little stitch stoppers from Laura of Camp Fiber that I really like. So I can have these and they don't go anywhere. So I can just put it in my bag and I'm all set. So really, really excited. And I'm going to be bringing you along all throughout the week on my progress. So this is day one. We are about one o'clock in the afternoon. I am actually hoping to potentially get to finish the leg today and turn the heel on my first sock. That would be wonderful. I don't know how it's going to go. We shall see, but I'm really happy with it so far. So We'll see how the girls are doing, acting, and figure it out. But now I need to skein up the other minis that I have um, and put them in my bag. The girls are playing in the room and I actually just woke up from a nap. I was so tired. Um, I have severe migraines, so sometimes when my body just gets too tired, I take I have to take a nap. If not, it just it'll keep headaches keep coming back. So took a nap and I feel so amazing. And that just means that I get to keep working. So now I am finished color number two and I'm gonna be doing color number three. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem getting to the heel for today. Um, I may even be able to get a little bit further. We'll see. I'm planning on doing a German short row heel with this. Um, so yeah, I love it so much. And I've been checking the hashtag today all over Instagram and absolutely love seeing everybody posting, everybody joining in. It is just such a blast. We are Tuesday and I'm about to head off to the car dealership because we need to get the car. Um, there's a couple issues but I am bringing my sock knitting and I'll be bringing you along with me. I am almost done the first sock so I just passed the heel and I'm onto the foot which I'm so excited and I did a lot more progress than I thought so that's really really exciting so let's go.
We are now almost eight o'clock at night on day two of the sock knitting challenge. And I've actually finished the first tube of the pair of socks. So I will be cutting in for an afterthought heel after I've done the second tube. I, and I've actually just cast on the second tube right away. Um, I definitely wanted to keep it going, keep the momentum. So I'm hoping to finish tonight before I go to bed the full ribbing, um, one or two repeats of the color work, and then potentially, potentially finish the pair of socks tomorrow. That would be absolutely wonderful. But as always with um, my twins, I never know what the day's gonna hold, um, but I think they should be going off to daycare. So if so, then I might just make a day of knitting tomorrow to really try and crank out these socks as fast as I can throughout um, all of my daily activities. So today we had some, um, I had to bring the car to the dealership. So you saw me knitting there, had to do a lot of admin work, um, make supper for the girls, things like that. So life definitely gets um, busy. So I don't knit constantly, but whenever I can, I definitely take the chance and knit. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight, watching a few YouTube videos and things and knitting on the pair of socks. Um, just washed my hair, got out of the shower, and I am doing tons of admin work with a second cup of coffee. Desperately, desperately needed a second cup this morning, but I am making tons of progress. So this is the second sock. And later this afternoon, after I finish all my admin work, I'm going to be sitting down watching TV and finishing the pair of socks. I want to get it done today. Today's the day. You will. You will be done. So yes, I am already past. So the after the orange is gonna be the heel, afterthought heel. So I wanna finish the tube, cut in the heels today, and then get it blocking. Let's see if I can get that done. I'm just really trying to finish all admin things. So um, replying to messages, emails, Patreon, Discord, all of that, um, getting that done today. And yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, this pair of socks can finally be done. And I finally am able to sit down uh, for the last hour or so and making some progress. So I have three repeats left and the tubes are done. So I was hoping to do a lot more earlier, but I had so much admin things to do, things to get done, and it just I didn't have a ton of knitting time this morning. I am still hopefully going to try to finish the pair of socks today. Like I said, I only have three repeats left. It is now 3.15, 3.20. We are going to get the girls for 4.30, so I have a good hour. And then again, when they go to bed tonight. So I could, this, this could happen. So let's see how much we can get done.
We're officially day four and I am off to physio in a bit for my knee, but one sock like you had seen is done. And last night I was able to get some work on it. And friends, I have just finished the last color and I am about to start the toe. I was really hoping to finish it last night, but that didn't happen and that is okay. Um, but it is getting done this morning. So I'm going to physio and then I am going to be sitting down and finally finishing off these socks. So I have the toe and then I'm cutting in for both heels. So I'm doing a full afterthought heel. I will link uh, my afterthought heel tutorial down below in case you are interested in watching that. But yes, I'm so excited. I, I'm ready to be done with these socks. Like I want something else <laughs> on my needles. I want another pair of socks on my needles. And this one, I'm just like, eh. I'm ready. I'm ready for you to be done. I'm ready. So I really want to get this done and cast on another pair of socks on my needles because um, I have some deadlines and things to knit. So this, this needs to get done and I'm really, really excited. So I hope that you are all doing absolutely amazing on your challenge and uh, yeah, so let's get knitting later today. But I am bringing you to physio because he's always late and your girl always has her knitting. I do need to double check with the first sample if I did one round of knitting. I only did one round of knitting before decreasing, so I am perfect. I just switched it, just did one round of um, the main color, and now I'm going to be decreasing, but I am five minutes away from physio, so time to get into the car, bring the knitting with me, and I will be able to hopefully decrease for the time. Travel or put down my knitting in my bag. I love using these stitch stoppers, um, even with the magic loop, because then I know no matter what, my work isn't gonna be coming undone. I don't wanna put more work on myself. And I'm also taking out all of the minis because I don't need them anymore. And I don't wanna overfill my bag when I'm going somewhere. I just want exactly what I need and that's it, so. I'm gonna leave this sock here because I definitely won't have time <laughs> just waiting. Uh, I'm just gonna start the decreases on the toe and then I'll be able to finish it when I get home. On a side note, um, I always have this same blanket that I curl up on the couch. So I have two blankets that are always, always on my couch. The one in the back stays there. That is um, an incredible blanket that I received from my incredible friend, Heather, um, who crocheted it for me. I did not make it because I can't crochet. Um, she so sweetly and generously sent that. So that's like our family blanket. And this blanket here, um, I've had it for five, six years now. This used to belong to my nanny, who was my grandmother, um, when she used to live in a home. And she, actually, it still has 
her name on it. Um, and then when she passed away, I took over the blanket. So it's just always so near and dear to me. She was in dinner. Um, she made slippers like no one's business. She was such an incredible woman. And I just, it's so special to me to have this blanket on my couch and to snuggle with it because I feel like she's there with me. So that's why you always see this blanket on the couch. It's just because um, in both of these because they're just so special and probably the most special blankets that I have and I own. So they are constantly on my couch. It's official. I just finished my pair of socks and now we are ready for blocking. So both heels are done um, and then I'll be weaving in the ends after they are completely dry. I am just so, so happy. Um, and let me show you how I block my socks. I fill any bucket container, doesn't have to be anything fancy, with lukewarm to cold water. And I absolutely love using soak. The fig scent is my absolute favorite. So this is a wool wash um, that you don't need to rinse out. And all I do is I grab my knitted project and I just gently push it in the water. And we are going to leave this in for 15 to 20 minutes. So I just like pushing it, making sure that everything is full of water. So you can see here through the bubbles that all of it. And wet blocking really, really helps if you're doing anything with color work because it will actually help um, give it that even texture and your floats. Sometimes it'll get all like t puckery and wet blocking really helps smooth out all of your knitting. So we're gonna leave this in for 15, 20 minutes, come back, rinse it out, put it on sock blockers and we are done. Once it has been about 20 minutes, um, I am just going to drain out the water first and then I'm going to gently, you wanna gently squeeze your knitting. You don't want to um, felt anything, but you just want to squeeze gently. You see how I'm not rubbing. I am just trying to squeeze the water. Go all around. Then I take my sock and I place it um, very graciously on a towel. So I'm going to do this for the second one. Gently squeeze out any water. Same thing, I am going to place it on my towel. I will then roll the towel and step on it to even absorb even more water. So let's get twirling. I'm just going to turn it. And we just step. There's no like fancy way of doing this, but this just really helps get out any and all of the water. Once you've finished, we are now gonna place the sock on some blockers. This is really where it's going to take shape and you're going to see, um, you wanna do this gently, you don't wanna to tug too much, but you just want to place it on your sock blockers. You can also lay it flat to dry if you don't have sock blockers. And place the heel where it should be. And there is your sock. Do the same thing for the second one. And there we go. Just 
as you can see, I do have little things here, like a little hole where I picked up. And this, I am actually going to be using the ends that are still in the sock, and I'm going to weave all of that in. So it'll close those gaps really nicely, and then all my ends will be woven in, and it just really helps make that pair of socks um, really nice and crisp. So I usually let my socks air for 24 to 48 hours until they are completely, completely dry. I will also, after 24 hours, turn the socks just so it gives it enough like breathing room so that the other side is able to dry. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. And if you did, drop a fun yarn emoji or let me know that you made it all the way to the end. I just really want to see how many of you actually made it all the way. I think it'd be really fun. So thank you so much. And let me know if you love this type of content because I really enjoyed vlogging with you all, bringing you through this fun challenge. And I'm hoping to do some more challenges in the future. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you guys again next time. Bye friends.